This video is going to go through an example of finding forces necessary to produce equilibrium. We need to find the forces F1 and F2 necessary to produce equilibrium. We have F1 acting in the negative x direction, F2 is acting in an angle of 65 degrees, and force C is 425 newtons acting in the negative y direction. In order to find the missing forces to produce equilibrium, we need to separate all of the forces into their x and y components. Since force F1 is acting strictly in the negative x direction, the x component will be negative F1 and the y component is 0. Since F2 is acting at an angle, the x component is F2 multiplied by the cosine of 65 degrees, since that is the angle the force is acting at. The y component is F2 multiplied by the sine of 65 degrees. Since force C is acting strictly in the y direction, the x component is 0, and the y component is negative C, or negative 425 newtons, since the force is pointing down. Now that we have all of the forces separated into their x and y components, we can solve for the missing forces using the idea of equilibrium. In order to produce equilibrium, the sum of the forces in x must equal 0, and the sum of the forces in y must also equal 0. If they don't equal 0, we don't have equilibrium. Using this idea of equilibrium, we can add all of the forces in x and set them equal to 0, so negative F1 plus F2 cosine 65 degrees plus 0 equals 0. In y, we have 0 plus F2 sine 65 degrees plus negative 425 newtons equals 0. Since there is only one unknown in y and two in x, we are going to solve for the unknown F2 in the y component. Then we can use that value for F2 in the x component to solve for F1. Using algebra, we see that F2 sine 65 degrees is equal to 425 newtons. Dividing by sine of 65 degrees, we see that F2 is equal to 469 newtons. Now that we know what F2 is, we can substitute that in for F2 in the x side of things and solve for F1. Rearranging, we see that F1 is equal to 469 multiplied by the cosine of 65 degrees. This means F1 is equal to 198 newtons. This concludes our example of finding missing forces using the idea of equilibrium.